to a collage. A collage is doing art with bits and pieces of this, that, and the other. Now, you see this man here? His name is Pablo Picasso. And Pablo Picasso was a great artist. And to this day, his art is worth millions. So we are going to little, take a little bit of his style. And who knows, maybe one day you are going to be a great, I'll have to look at your names. Pablo Picasso used the concept of just identifying the different features of your cara. Cara is your face. So we have the pelo, which is the hair, ojos, which is the eyes, orejas, which is the ears, nariz, nose, boca, mouth. Okay? Now, before we start doing anything, let's learn a little bit about this. This is our scissors. And the scissors girls are not to be used lustily at any time. You need to always have some sort of supervision. All right? So the scissors has two parts, two important parts. That's for the thumb, that's for your fingers. Thumbs up, fingers. So thumb, circle, over, fingers. And you open and close. And that's how you use a scissors. Now, some of you, because you're still too small, it might be difficult, but you will keep trying. But you try with an adult, okay? Abuelo, abuela, grandma, grandpa, tio, tia, uncle, aunt, mama, papa, mommy, daddy, all right? Or oh, friends, amigas. Right, let's get our materials together now. So a collage, one of the most important things are your paints, I forgot to put my glue there. I have my paint brushes, my scissors, the egg containers, the Styrotex. Then I have here, here I have the toilet paper rolls, which I cut in half, the egg container, which I cut and I fit inside of there, my earrings, which I love, my lips, my teeth dainties, construction paper which is very helpful and it, it has lots of colored paper and if you don't have that not a problem you can paint the paper in that color this is after i painted everything and laid it out to dry now it's a long process girls it's not going to finish as fast as the others you need to take some time but what better way of working towards something and don't say no i can't do it i can do all things with Christ who strengthens me, even if it takes a long time, you could still do it. All right. Then you take a picture of yourself. I took a picture of myself and I said, wow, let me try and see how can I make a collage of myself? So I let go my hair just for you because normally my hair is always up. But I said, you know what? I am going to take my favorite look. All right. This is my favorite look just for you. See how special you are? Right. Now, the background, I use my favorite color, which is pink. And the paper is portrait. Remember how we hold our sketch pad? Either landscape or portrait. But because our face is this way, it's long, we use it as portrait. And remember how to hold the paintbrush? Thumb, pointer, and it rests on this. So we hold it like this. And we are painting portrait style in a up and down motion, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Now, you're going to get somebody around you to do this part. First, we're going to look at your face, the shape of your face. Well, my face is not a circle, definitely not. It's an over long chin, pointy almost, and a curved forehead. So I took the paper, fold it in half. So I have my forehead and my long chin. My face is symmetrical. What's that word? Symmetrical. So it means that when I cut it, this half is going to be the same as this half. What's that word? Symmetrical. Very good. So let's get started. So all my parts that I cut out, I left it to dry. I am getting ready now to do my portrait, the collage on my face. Ta-da! So, the glue is still wet. I'm just to show you. So here it is. I put in all the features. Looking at my picture, 
All right. So this is my say has. I use garbage bags, black garbage bags, which I cut and twisted because my eyebrows are a bit thick on my face. My eyeball, my ojos. So my eyeballs are there and my pupils are there, the buttons, right? So here I have my ojos. Nariz, I use a spoon, which I cut because it was a bit long. My mouth again is toilet paper roll, which I actually made the M, the shape of my lip, I look, and it's curvy low, that's my teeth. And one of my favorite features, can you see it? It's my mole, I use a button, and I love what God did to me. Then I have my hair, yes, my hair is all sorts of colors now, so I use all sorts of colors. And from the picture, my hair is kind of coming over this eye here. I have one side of my earring showing, although I am wearing two, but the picture says one side. And here is my top, which I just got a piece of fabric, cut and stick. What do you think? I can't wait to see what you do. All right. And what's beautiful about this project, it takes time. And you will say, I can't do this. But you remember, I can do all things with Christ who strengthens me. And the more that you look at yourself, you will see mommy or daddy or uncle or auntie or grandpa or grandma, mama, papa, tio, tia, abuelo, abuela. You will see somebody inside of you because God made you so special and he decided to take a little bit of this and a little bit of that and make you. And that's what makes you unique. I love God and God loves me. Therefore, I can love everybody. Adios. I look forward to seeing your work.